hi besties welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this multi-purpose liquid soap but before we go into the production properly let's quickly go over the safety precautions you must take while making liquid soap at home do not make preparations near naked flame or fire keep all chemicals away from the reach of children do not test any soap chemical and avoid contact of soap chemical with the skin or the eyes now let's go over all the chemicals we need for this production this is nitrosol this chemical looks like powdered milk you can liken it to the powdered milk um consistency or do i say just the, the way the powdered milk looks like now the next one is caustic soda caustic soda is a chemical that looks like sugar just as you can see it has crystals that is similar to sugar now soda ash is the next chemical this chemical has coarse crystals and it is in dirty white color now another chemical is texapon this chemical looks like prepared or cooked starch you know when you cook starch uh, this chemical looks exactly like cooked starch the next one is sodium tripolyphosphate also known as stpp this chemical looks like um, table salt yes we can liken it to table salt another very important chemical is sulfonic acid sulfonic acid has very dark thick look just like honey yes we can liken the consistency and the look to honey another one is foaming booster i've seen two colors of foaming booster so far uh, this and the cream color whatever color you get it is totally fine it does the same work now this is the next one color you can choose whatever color that suit that you like i have different colors here i don't even know the one i'm going to use i have green i have brown there's yellow there is um there are many colors there's pink there as well so just pick whatever color you think suits well with your brand that goes well with your brand or whatever color you like okay now another one which is the last one is perfume this is what we give this, fra this fragrance is what we give your uh your product um, a good smell now before we go into the production let us quickly state the quantity needed for each chemical for you to be able to achieve this uh production nitrosol you need it in 250 grams or one over four caustic soda three spoons soda ash 500 grams or one over two Texapo 200 grams or one over four stpp 200 grams or one over four sulfonic should be in one liter 1000 mils foaming booster 250 grams or one over four color one spoon perfume 30 mils now you'll be needing two bowls uh one bowl should be very big uh that can contain up to 35 liters of water and the other one should be small then ensure you pick a bowl that has measurement guide just like the way i'm showing the one i'm showing in the video so this one is a small bowl this is where i'm going to be mixing some product um some chemicals before i add it into the bigger bowl now let's proceed now always ensure to protect your hands because you are going to be holding chemical you are going to be a handling chemical protect your hands and if you are rough protect your legs as well now i'm putting on my glove just to be able to you know be secured i don't want chemical burning me now in a that very big bowl you are going to add 25 liters of water of clean water into the big bowl 25 liters in that 25 liters of water then you had your nitrosol and then you should get someone to stir for you this is the easiest way get someone to stir for you because it won't be easy in adding chemicals and you know stirring yourself now when you are done with that you stir for about five minutes or so then the next chemical to be added is caustic soda now this is the small bowl i added two liters of water into a small bowl then i poured in three spoons of caustic soda please pay attention three spoons of caustic soda into two liters of water in a separate bowl and then you get a small spatula or something a turning stick and you stir thoroughly until every particle in that caustic soda dissolves so when it dissolves you pour it into the bigger bowl 
that big bowl is where every production will be happening. So this small bowl is just to, you know, dissolve some products and then before adding to the big bowl. I hope this makes sense. So right now I'm adding my caustic soda into the bigger bowl and you are going to stir thoroughly. One thing you should know is that if you don't stir your every chemical into each other thoroughly, you are going to end up with lumps. Now, the combination of nitrosol and caustic soda thickens up. It creates a thick consistency. As you can see in the video, the consistency keeps changing as you stir. Moving on, the next chemical is soda ash. As you can see, the soda ash is also a crystal-like um, chemical. You are going to dissolve it first in a small bowl. I am dissolving it with two liters of water. And then you stir thoroughly until all the crystals in the soda ash dissolves before adding it to the big bowl. I hope this makes sense. You dissolve first in two liters water of water and then you proceed to add it to the bigger bowl, which is where the uh, production, main production is taking place. Now I'm adding soda hash, dissolved soda hash to my solution and I'm going to also stir thoroughly. You're going to stir thoroughly, stir each chemical thoroughly into each other to avoid lumps the next one is texapon because texapon is um in a liquid form already you don't need to dissolve in a separate bowl before adding it to your you know solution we are going to add it to the big bowl straight away just the way i'm doing in the video now after adding this you want to stir for about um three to five minutes until you feel the texapon has dissolved. The next chemical is STPP, which is sodium trifolyphosphate. This is this has um crystals as well, so we are going to dissolve it in a separate two liters of water, just the way I'm doing in the video. Then you want to stir this chemical again until it dissolves in the two liters of water before adding it to the main um chemicals with the uh, where the production is taking place. The I mean the big bowl. So you add it gradually and then you stir continuously for about three to five minutes as well. Now we are going to proceed to the next one, which is sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is also in liquid form. You are just going to add it straight into the big bowl, gently, gradually, and you stir into um, the solution thoroughly. As for this sulfonic acid, I usually stirring, uh, prefer stirring it about for about 10 minutes or so, or even more because, um, number one, it has a thicker consistency and it also allows your liquid soap to thicken up. It allows it to foam. So you want to get this sulfonic acid into every nook and cranny of our liquid soap. So you don't want to miss any stop spot. You don't want any, you know, one side to be thick and the other side not to be foamy and all like, not like that. Now, the next one is foamy booster. Foaming booster is also in a liquid form, so you don't need to mix it in a separate bowl of water before, add it, before adding it to your solution. I'm just going to add it straight to the solution. Now, the color of this um, foaming booster does not affect your liquid soap in any way. It's going to blend into your liquid soap and, um, you know, you won't even notice the orange color. Now, you're going to stir this into your liquid soap thoroughly for about three to five minutes as well or even more before we proceed. After stirring into it for five minutes, you can now add your color. So in a one liter, you are going to get one liter of water in a separate bowl and then add about a spoon depending on you. You know, the intense, the intense your color, the intensity of your color depends on how, you know, thick or soft your color is going to look in the liquid soap. As for me, if I'm using color pink, I prefer adding about half spoon to a spoon of liquid soap because I want, you know, the peach color, the peach peach, not the pink, subtle pink. If you want the subtle pink, you can decide to add a little, you know. 
So just add it into the one liter of water and then you saute, you stir and add it to your production just the way I'm doing in the video. And then you are going to stir this for about 15 minutes. You don't have to do it straight, like 15 minutes straight. You can do two minutes rest, two minutes rest because you want this color in every nook and cranny of that liquid soup. You don't want one side to be white, the other side um, peach, the other side pink. I hope this makes sense. I hope you get me. So you are going to stir it into this liquid soap thoroughly. So the more you stir, the more it changes color, the more the color, you know, sink the, in, into the liquid soap. The last chemical we are going to add is perfume or fragrance. You just need just two covers. Just open your um the bottle and had just little or two spoons two spoons is okay little a little goes a long way so when you add it and you are going to stir it thoroughly into the soap just for it to circulate and you are going to leave your liquid soap for about eight hours for all this foamy part you are looking at this top foamy part to settle down so when it settles it's going to look like this this is what it's going to look like when it settles. It's going to look so beautiful and um, so thick. The one I produce, I produce 33 liters of liquid soap and it is so beautiful, super thick. If I want to add more water, I can. So now I'm going to, you know, uh, portion the liquid soap into this bottle. When you're picking a bottle, ensure you pick the one that is easy for your customers to dispense the soap. I was able to put, produce 33 liters in total. If you followed the measurement I gave you, 25 liters of um, liquid soap of water, then I added two two liters to mix all this crystal, all the crystal um, chemicals. If you calculate it, it's going to give us 33 liters. I have created a table for further explanation on the water measurement. Um, for the base, if you remember, I added 25 liters of water. So in that water, I, I added my nitro soap. That is where I poured in my nitro soap. Then followed by two liters of water to mix my caustic soda before adding it to the base. Then two liters of water to mix my soda ash. Another two liters of water for ftpp then one liter of water for color now you know we did not mix sulfonic acid in a separate water but it measures one liter if you calculate all this it's going to give us 33 liters in total now this is my product after dishing guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe like and share our videos see you in my next one bye